It is a cold, wet day today at Lowcountry Acres, so instead of doing line driving outside, we're going to continue our ground training. And today I'm going to introduce how to release the pull pressure, how to accept the collar, and we're going to go through all of the things from the ground that we've learned already, which is yielding the forehand, yielding the hindquarters, picking up the feet, walking off, and backing up. I start out by holding in a collar that is unbuckled on one side so that it's nice and loose. I hold it at about hip level and using the same gesture I would with a touch command, I offer the command collar. So I'll say Molly collar. And the first time she puts her nose through it, I will cluck and reward her. And I'll ask her to go a little bit further, a little bit longer, hold that position a little longer, keep her head down a little bit lower every time before I cluck and reward. And, you know, this is gonna take several attempts because, you know, when she puts her head through that collar, she's actually kind of squeezing her head through and she can't necessarily see 100%, so she's kind of going blindly. <laughs> so she has to have a lot of trust. And I'm looking for progress, so just a little bit inch further, a little bit longer. And the first time she actually has the collar on her neck, it surprises her and the second time even surprises her again, but she grows accustomed to it more and more. And again, I will ask her to go a little bit further until she actually breaches her eyes through that collar and can see, and that's when I cluck and reward her. By now, after several attempts, she's getting used to the collar being put over her ears and onto her neck, and she's not startling as much, and she's much more rel relaxed and calm, and that's the whole goal. I want her to not be surprised, keep her head low, help me be a willing participant in the collaring exercise. When you have to throw harness on a horse that's this tall, having them bring their head to you, having them bring their head through the collar makes harnessing so much easier. So once I get through initial collar training, I start to introduce pole pressure release. I start by placing my hand at the top of her head, right at the pole, and applying downward pressure and a little bit of lead line pressure and saying down. You can see that initially she doesn't really know what to do. She's trying to shake me off. But the slightest release, I will cluck and reward. And then I will continue to ask her to go a little lower every time. So if she catches, catches it the first couple of times, I won't use lead pressure anymore. I'll simply put my hand on the pole and apply slow, steady pressure. Again, I want a horse with a light touch. After that, we take a quick break and we work on stand quiet. I do a couple of circles and passes, give her some clucks and rewards. Then I move to pole pressure again. Nice release. Give her a treat. Move to her feet. Staying up. She releases the feet. I do this with all four feet, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to skip to the next part where I ask her to release her nose to her rib cage. For suppleness. I do this for both sides and she does great all the while standing untied in the calm position. Then I close out the session with a collar asking her to bring her head down. And okay, you can see my body language is a little different but I'm just asking her to bring her nose through the collar and stand there. Then I'm going to close out applying the pull pressure release and the collar by bringing the collar forward so that it rests on her pole and waiting for her head to drop before I start taking it off. You can see she raises her head back up. I start over, put the collar at the pole, wait for her to drop the head. Nice and slow, right there, and then take it off. 